Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are doing very well. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard. This is HP Lightbook 845G7 laptop motherboard and it's not turning on. So now I will try to fix this board. So let's try to fix it. So this is a motherboard part number as you can see here. So now I will show you. First of all, I will show you the condition of this motherboard. So let's plug it in and look at my power supply. It's not taking any amps and uh, look here this led not blinking as soon as i will plug in this led should be blinking here so let's remove this rtc battery and this charge that's plugged in again but it's it's still same it's not turning on so at first i will check main power rail it's available or not let's plug it in and i set my multimeter in dc mode let's check start from here this is a jack dc jack so i can check this coil we have 19 volt present and now i will check one of this pad this is the main power rail so let's check here um, as you can see we have no main power rail available on this motherboard so let's check the evidence so main power rail so i set my multimeter in beep mode and let's check this under my microscope so you can see you can see properly what i'm doing So we can check one of this capacitor. This is a filter capacitor from main power rail. So let's check here. And here you go. As you can see here, it's given bits. That means the main power rail is fully short to ground. So there is two way. One is you can inject voltage from power supply and try to find out short component uh, which will be getting hot and the other option is you can visually inspection whole motherboard so you can see any corrosion crack capacitor burning signs then you can fix this problem so at first i will check at first i will visual inspection whole motherboard Try to find out something like corrosion, crack, capacitor, or any burning components. So I can start from here. This is a very good idea if you use an inspection under a microscope the whole motherboard so you can easily find out for the parts if the parts is visible for this visible this side is clear so I can check this side from here Most of the time I got this IC getting short and you know if this IC getting short that port cannot fix, not fixable. Two capacitors also like this color.
here also. Okay, first of all, I will remove this pad here from here so I can confirm if here is this capacitor is short so I can confirm if I remove this pad. So let's turn on my soldering iron. Some flux here. So there is no connection between these two sides. I already opened this pad. So mm -hmm. now I can check this here, this capacitor. If this capacitor is short to ground, so you can hear the beep. So there is no beep. That means these two capacitor is good. There is no short circuit. So. Now I will remove this pad to check this this both capacitor here. So let's remove this. Okay, it's open now. It's also good. There is no short circuit. So we got some corrosion here. So you can remove this part as well. Okay, it's okay. It's also good. This MOSFET Now I'm going to remove this pad because this IC and this capacitor look like something different. It's open. Okay, we got it. Short is here. Everything is clear. If this <coughs> IC is getting short, if this IC is short to ground, so this bolt will not fix.
I feel. So at first, I will remove uh, this capacitor and this two capacitor before I remove this IC. Check here, slow, so I'm not getting it. It's also okay, okay. Put it back. Okay, well, after remove this IC, short is done. As you can see here, there is no short. Let's check this impedance on this coil. It's uh, showing 7.4 ohms. So I think if I replace this IC, this board will be fixed. So let's replace this IC from my donor board. So I don't have the same donor board. So I can uh, replace from this Lenovo motherboard, same IC but number something different. Okay, as you can see this number is 8694. And I'm going to replace with 8690. Oh. Okay, replace is done. Let's join the all pad one, two, three. Yes, okay. All clear. Check the ingredients again. It's clear now. No bits. So let's plug in.
I think this MOSFET also short. Let's remove this MOSFET. Same channel MOSFET. Okay, so this MOSFET also will be shortly ground. The here is the venture and MOSFET. Okay, it's melted. Now there is no bit. So let's plug in again. And as you can see, the light is blinking, fan also is spinning, it's taking more than 500 milliamps. That means this board is ready now. It's turning on. Let me connect to the LCD panel so I can check. Display is okay or not. Let so connect it and let's plug it in again. And this light is blinking and it's turning on. Okay, so we have display now. Now it's ready. We just uh, found the this IC shot to ground, and we replace this IC from Lenovo T490 motherboard, and then we found this internal MOSFET shot to ground, and we replace this MOSFET as well, and it's back to life again. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. If you already subscribed my channel, thank you so much.